Uh, hello everyone, I'd like to quickly introduce myself. I'm uh, Jesus Manuel Alegre from the University of Burgos in Spain and I'm going to talk uh, about the paper with the title Stress Intensity Factor Solutions for the Simulation of Fish High Fatigue Growth in Round Bars Subjected to Tensile Load. The contents of this presentation start with an introduction and motivation. Next, the objectives of this work. After that, I'm going to present the geometry definition of the embedded elliptical crack that we have uh, considered in this study. And then I'm going to go into the stress intensity factor solutions for embedded elliptical cracks. After that, I'm going to present the methodology for fatigue crack growth simulation. Uh, and in the point number six, I'm going to present some aspects related to the FISA fatigue crack growth simulation. And finally, I'm going to uh, conclude in the, the main results of this, uh, of this research. Well, as we know, additive manufacturing techniques are increasingly being used for high critical components in aerospace, biomedical and automotive sectors. The main problems of this, uh, uh, of this uh, additive manufacturing techniques is the presence of internal defects like lack of fusion or pores, which are the main cause of fatigue crack initiation. These internal defects, as we can see in these uh, pictures, grow due to fatigue, forming a circular crack pattern on the fracture surface that is uh, known as fissile. In order to adequately study the fatigue crack growth in these uh, components, solutions for the stress intensity factors for embedded elliptical cracks in round bars are needed. Uh, we can find numerous solutions uh, in the literature for um, embedded elliptical cracks in plates, for semi-elliptical surface cracks in round bars, or even for circular embedded cracks in round bars. But only uh, a few studies of the stress intensity factor for embedded elliptical cracks in round bars can be found in the literature. Then this is one of uh, our main objectives of this, uh, of this work. As a consequence, the objectives uh, of, this, uh, of this work is first to provide a set of uh, stress intensity factor solutions. For the case of embedded elliptical cracks in a round bar subjected to tensile load, after that uh, we are going to use this stress intensity factor solutions for the simulation of the fish eye fatigue crack growth, assuming that an elliptical shape is maintained during all the propagation phase, and finally by varying uh, the crack site and crack position, we can study several aspects related to the evolution of the fatigue crack growth in this uh, geometry. In this slide, we present the geometry definition of the embedded elliptical crack used in this work. The uh, load is defined by the uniaxial stress, sigma sub zero. The radius of the round bar is R, and the crack is defined by uh, the semi-axis of the elliptical crack, A and C, and the position of the center of the crack, that is defined by the ligament H plus uh, the crack site. These geometric dimensions can be expressed by three new dimensionless parameters. The relative position of the center of the elliptical crack to the radius of the circular crack section, the ratio of the crack side to the distance from the center of the ellipse to the bar surface, and the crack aspect ratio of the elliptical crack. In order to calculate the stress intensity factors for this geometry, a specific 3D finite element model using the Abacus software has been created. Only one fourth of the round bar has been modeled because of its symmetry. The mesh was created uh, using 20 node uh, quadratic elements with uh, reduced integration and uh, a typical uh, spider web mesh around the crack tip using quarter point finite elements uh, was used. Uh, a mesh density of eight elements for the semi rosette of the crack tip and 100 elements for, on the crack front has been used. 
the stress intensity factor is calculated uh, from the elastic part of the j integral using this well-known expression and uh, taking into account that for embedded elliptical crack plane strain conditions uh, can be assumed for all points along the crack front only the stress intensity factor at the vertices of the elliptical crack has been calculated and termed as points a1 a2 and c uh, respectively the stress intensity factors are expressed uh, as a function of the uh, axial stress the crack depth and uh, three geometric correction factors uh, these geometric correction factors um, are presented in a tabulated form as a function of the three dimensionless parameters the first is the relative position of the crack that uh, ranging from 1 for centered cracks to 0.054 cracks uh, close to the bar surface the second dimensionless parameter is the ratio of the crack side to the distance from the center of the lift set to the bar surface ranging from 0.05 to 0.95 uh, and the last one is the crack aspect ratio uh, ranging from 0.2 for elongated cracks to 1 for circular cracks a uh, comparison and um, validation of this proposed stress intensity factor solution can be consulted in detail in uh, the conference in the preceding paper and uh, in this slide we show the other two tables corresponding to the geometric correction factors for points a2 and c uh, respectively in this slide we present the methodology uh, for fatigue crack growth simulation uh, we assume that an elliptical crack is maintaining during the propagation stage and then we only need the stress intensity factor at the vertices of the of the ellipse the input parameters are the radius of the of the round bar the stress range uh, applied to the bar and we need also a, a fatigue crack propagation low in our case we have assumed a, a Paris low for a, for fatigue crack, for fatigue crack growth uh, definition the process uh, start by assuming an initial uh, crack dimensions uh, with uh, defined by the parameters uh, a c and h after that we calculate the dimensionless parameters and then the three correction factors uh, can be uh, obtained using tables one to three an interpolation procedure is necessary at uh, this stage then for uh, the stress uh, range we obtain the stress intensity factor ranges and uh, using a block of cycles as a control variable we calculate the crack advance of the vertices for a specific crack growth uh, low and finally the new crack site and crack position is updated using this expression and the whole procedure is, is repeated updating the crack shape for each block of cycles until the failure condition is reached or the desired number of cycles is completed this procedure needs to be automatized to solve a large number of cycle blocks for example by means of a programming software such as visual studio etc we have developed a small tool for this that uh, is shown here here we have an example of the application of the sequential methodology presented before using the present stress intensity factor solutions uh, of this um, of this paper and its comparison with uh, with experiment and here uh, we can observe another example uh, and we can see the good agreement between the uh, numerical simulation and the experimental results using the present uh, stress intensity factor solutions uh, okay as we mentioned it before an interesting fact observed in this uh, geometry is the preferential trend of the crack to propagate towards a circular say pattern known as fisheye independently of the uh, aspect ratio of the initial defect this fact is also observed experimentally as we can see here where an irregular initial crack shape quickly develops to a circular crack 
Now we are going to use the stress intensity factor proposed in this paper together with the methodology for fatigue crack calculation to investigate some interesting facts in this geometry as a consequence of the internal defects. In this picture, uh, we saw an analysis of the evolution of the crack aspect ratio during fatigue crack growth for an internal uh, defect considering different uh, initial aspect ratios from a circular shape to an uh, elongated one. As we can see, a quick trend towards a circular crack is observed for all cases independently of the initial defect. And this is an interesting fact. In this, uh, in this geometry. And uh, in this second analysis, we study the effect of the initial crack shape on the fatigue life. In this particular analysis, we consider an initial circular crack of radius 0.1 millimeter in a round bar of 3 millimeters. The initial crack area is uh, of then this value and the initial position of the crack is in uh, 2 millimeters. Three different curves are presented here. The first curve in blue color represents the calculated, uh, represents the calculated uh, number of cycles versus the initial crack aspect ratio, maintaining constant the value uh, of the dimensions C sub 0 in 0 0.1 millimeters. The value of A sub 0 is uh, then obtained for all the different crack aspect uh, ratios. The second car in red uh, color is similar, but in this case the crack dimensions A0 uh, is maintained constant and the value of uh, C sub 0 is obtained for each crack aspect ratio. And finally, in the third car uh, in green color, uh, the initial crack area is, is kept constant for the different initial crack aspect ratios. Then uh, the values of A sub 0 and uh, C sub 0 are calculated accordingly to obtain this, uh, this value of the area. The results show that uh, almost the same fatigue life is obtained when considering a different initial crack shape but uh, an initial crack shapes, uh, but maintaining constant the initial crack area. As a result, an equivalent initial crack site, for example, a circular shape, can be defined for any irregular initial crack defect with the same projected area that leads uh, to the same number of cycles. This uh, equivalent uh, circular initial crack area can be obtained easily using this, uh, this simple equation. It's important to note that these results uh, agree with the model of Murakami and Beretta. Uh, they propose uh, this uh, parameter for use as a, a characteristic dimensions for the evaluation of the effects of defects of various sites and shapes on fatigue uh, strength. And finally, I'd like to finish with the main conclusions of this paper that can be summarized in the next points. A good estimation of fissi crack growth can be carried out by using the proposed stress intensity factor solution for elliptical cracks in round bars subjected to tensile load. The fissi crack growth simulated quickly trends to a very close circular form, regardless the shape of the initial crack. This effect can be also observed by experiment. The same fatigue life is obtained when considering different initial crack shape, uh, shapes, but maintaining constant the initial crack area. These results are in, uh, in accordance with the model of Murakami, which proposes the projected uh, crack area as a characteristic dimension for the evaluation of the effects or defects of various sites and shapes on the fatigue strength. And finally, as a result, for a fatigue analysis, an equivalent initial crack site, for example, a circular crack, can be defined for any regular initial defect considering the same projected area. And that's all. Thank you uh, so much for your interest and attention.